All right, listen, I will be doing a full-fledged video and photo editing comparison test between the two variants of MacBook Air 2020, the i3, and the i5 models to help you decide, you know, which one is powerful enough for your needs. But in the meantime, I've come across a very unique opportunity to conduct a sort of unbiased real-world video editing test. Long story short, my sister, who could really care less about tech, is also a YouTuber and is a lot less active than I am, but she's getting back into it and she has to edit a tutorial that she made. She makes these like clay figurines and stuff. I'll leave a link to her channel in the video description. But yeah, I wanna see if she notices a difference between the i3 and the i5 model. So I'm gonna set her up with both. I actually bought the i5 model for her and she's buying it off me at a discounted price. So I'm not that nice. But anyway, yeah, I wanna see if a real world average consumer will notice a difference between a dual core and a quad core processor using Final Cut doing, you know, 1080p video editing, nothing insane, but video editing nonetheless. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment. If you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, as the YouTube algorithm likes that, and will help push my content to more people. And if you are a recurring viewer, it helps the channel if you do click the bell icon and turn on all notifications. So here we have the MacBook Airs in question. We have an i3 and an i5 model. I might be pointing to the wrong one. I can't tell which is which, but regardless, I'm gonna have her editing off of an external SSD this is a Samsung T5. I actually edit off of one right now and they're fantastic creative tools. So um, although we could take advantage of the internal storage, this is a constant variable, right? And it will allow me to just, you know, switch her over to the other laptop very seamlessly because you could have a Final Cut library on here and open it on pretty much any Mac running Final Cut Pro. For so for example, I could take my two terabyte T5, which I usually use to edit with my iMac and then, you know, eject it and then plug it into my MacBook Air or MacBook Pro and continue editing a video like nothing happened. So I'm going to set her up with the i5 model first, you know, give her some power to work with, two additional cores, and then take those away, giving her the i3 model. And like I said, we're going to see if she, an average consumer, an average video editor, I would say, notices any negative impact or difference. So my sister's about to airdrop all the footage that she needs off her phone. Let me see it. Let's go back, go back. Oh my God, <laughs> okay, so we got all of these clips. So she's going to airdrop it into Finder. And then I'm going to copy all of this. Of I was like five. <laughs> so she's going to copy all the footage and then we're going to put it onto this external <laughs> SSD here. It's called Herman SSD. So like I said, she can switch from um, this model of MacBook Air to the other one uh, later on in her edit. So can you tell people what you like about this laptop and why you wanted one? Why, why else do you like it? I know you like the color. You said it's kind of like rose gold. It's faster. It's lighter. It's a nice color. And my current one is seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get her footage imported, but I just want to show you what she's working with here. Um, as you can see, the specs, uh, she doesn't know what the hell it means, so I'm just gonna close it up. And then, um, yeah, let's get your footage out of the downloads folder. Title it again. What the f Hold on. I, I, I do this all the time. This is not happening. Hold on. Do I have to drag it down there? No, you don't. I think you do. No, you don't. Hold on. I do this you literally, drag it I do this literally every day. Hold on. <gasps> there we go. So you can copy What in. if they copied multiple times? No, it's not. But here we go. So you have the footage in here. You can begin your edit and... Do you know how to fix like... Is you take the clip and then you go to here. And then you go to transform. <sighs> and then you go to the rotation and you go... 90 degrees and then you increase the scale you see that yeah okay Okay. so you edit and do your thing and i'll come back and i'll switch the computers up and you will thank let me know you. you let me know if you notice a difference and we'll thank you i'm excited to hear what you think because i'm excited for you unlike to me to tell me that i sound like a <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> unlike me who has a vega 48 core i9 monster editing computer She's someone who doesn't need, you know, Wait, can the... I, like, try it and see if I did it right? Hold on. Anyway, she's someone who doesn't need the highest-end specs and everything, so I'm really curious to see if she likes the quad-core i5 better. Command-Shift-V, yeah. And I got her the i5 model simply because she wants more storage. She has a, she had a 256 gig 2014 mid, uh, mid-2014 mid MacBook uh, Pro Retina and the 256 gig... I can never say it. The 256 gig drive was just not cutting it for her. And as you can see, she has a 10R over here. Uh, so yeah, I will be back and we'll see what you think. Oh, 
How you doing? Ooh. Or did you find the YouTube music library? Oh, you're getting dirty. Okay, did you find music? Ooh. All right, so I am checking in on her. She is in the middle of editing here, I'd say. How has your experience been compared to your previous MacBook Pro? Uh, really easy when I'm using the transitions. I barely even have to like drag it and it already goes to where I need it. So it's like loading quickly and all that? Yeah. And it's playback pretty smooth? Yeah, it's really nice. And you're adding music and like what like what what part the of the edit are you on in? This computer, like you literally just like hit it. They so all the Wi-Fi off. is fat. Oh, okay. So that's cool. So so far it's been smooth. On this, nothing, no stuttering, no lagging when you add any effects or titles or whatever. And I see that you've been doing some retiming as well. So you increase the speed to four hundred percent. Nice. Do you adjust any colors or anything, or do you know yeah. how to do that? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to switch up the laptop on you here. And keep in mind, people, um, since she's editing off of an external SSD, everything will transfer over to the other laptop, like, you know, like nothing happens. So we're gonna see if you notice any difference um, in increased or decreased power. Okay, so here we have the other MacBook Air. Uh, so I'll show about this Mac. And as you can see, here are the specs. Um, so we're gonna open up her Final Cut Pro library on this Mac here. Okay, so you can continue editing. All right, so once again, we are editing in uh, 1080p at 30 FPS, so nothing too crazy, but yeah, we'll see if she sees a difference in the processor here. So I'll, I'll airdrop the Boy. other- I'll, I'll airdrop the two songs that you need, okay? Okay, how's it going? I'm not noticing any difference. So like the playback is the same to you? Mm -hmm. When you edit things like the speed of the clips, which I'm, which I'm sure you're yeah, doing. it's all the same. No change at all. Nothing, you, you notice nothing. No. Nope. So you're just watching, you're playing it back. Yeah, she makes these like things. I, I don't know how to put it into a sentence. Can you, can you tell my audience what exactly you do? No, she's shaking her head. Yes, you can. Like, no, you're gonna make me look so dumb. No, I'm not. I'm linking your channel. Shut up. No, I just am so tired right now. No, I'm just, what, can you explain what you do? Because people don't know what the hell this is. Uh, I'm a polymer clay artist. Oh, fun. And she like has all this pain and shit. And you can see a little figurine over there. She actually had more subscribers than me for the longest time. It was really aggravating, but here we are. I'm at 100K. <laughs> past her she's at 98 so i can't say much but anyway so you're not noticing any difference at all and how far into the edit are you not very far <laughs> but like you've been actually editing though right like trimming yeah. your clips and all that mm -hmm. so once again people this is at 1080p she's not doing any major color correction or anything but this is you know video editing that i think a lot of people do not everybody is going into the nitty gritty and color grading and shooting in 4k this is you know yeah, this is somebody to watch me craft right exactly but you're representative like, of a I lot of people i want it to be realistic and, and simple real, and right it's like in real life right it's, it's just simple so you're not doing any advanced video yeah. editing just simple clip you know trimming and retiming and stuff like that so this what you're editing on right now is the i3 model. This is my MacBook Air. It's less powerful and it has less storage. And I didn't want to sell you this because it had less storage and you said that you wanted the 512 gig one. And I also thought that you would benefit from the i5 because you do do some video editing, but clearly for your own usage, I don't think it really would have mattered because um, two cores on here versus four cores on the other one, which I, I know you don't understand what that means. Um, it doesn't really make a difference apparently when you're editing in 1080p doing simple stuff but you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little export test here just with what you have so far it doesn't mean that you're gonna finish your project I just want to see what you think about how long it takes to export the project just as it is right now so I've created a new project with what she's edited so far because like I didn't want to render the whole three-hour clip so this is about four minutes of 1080p footage so we'll export an H.264, so that's 867 <coughs> megabytes. Excuse you, coronavirus. Um, so we'll go next, and we'll export it to the desktop, and we'll see how long it takes. So right now it is 7.26 p.m. So it is now rendering, and keep in mind, if you have a big, long project like she's working with here, maybe the better processor would benefit her more because she won't have to wait like, you know, maybe a half an hour extra just because she lacks two cores that could help expedite the long render process. So it's chugging along here with 1080p video, even with the i3. 
um, although in my test 4K video was pretty brutal with this processor, it seems like this kind of footage isn't too bad. You know, it's a fourth of the resolution of 4K, so. The rendering is just about to finish. It's been like three minutes. So this is about a three minute, three minute, 15 second render. So that's a four minute 1080p clip. And what is that? So if there's 60 minutes in an hour, 180 minutes in three hours. Wait, wait, wait. So like, how long do you anticipate the video to be in total? Like 30 minutes long? Like 25 minutes. 25, so divided by four, 6.25 times four minutes. So with this computer, it would take about 25 minutes to render that clip, okay? So we got that. So now I'm gonna switch everything to the i5 model and we'll see how the render time is. Okay, so we're back on the i5 model, the higher storage capacity one, um, and we're gonna do the same render test here, um, same four minute clip. So uh, yeah, 800, oops, <laughs> gotta change it to H.264. Because ProRes, can you stop shaking the laptop? I'm not shaking. Yes, you are. You're shaking. No, my I'm legs, not. My legs are completely. No, stiff. I am not doing that. No, my legs are completely. Okay, it doesn't matter. Stiff. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, it's 7:32. Four I'm cores. To be a okay, tired. I'm gonna shut. Oh, wait, four cores. Oh, it's already screaming. Okay, literally 10 seconds in. 16% done. 18% done. Alrighty, well I'm glad I got this one. We're not done yet, Emma. Well, I'm done with you. I know, but we're not done. Seems like it's going twice as fast, and that makes sense because there's two additional processing cores in here. Did you look at that? Oh my God, it's almost like simple math. So while you didn't notice any difference in the playback and just the general editing, as you can see here, rendering the file is a lot quicker. And is that something that you really care about or do you not video edit enough to stop laughing at me? <laughs> you betcha. Emma, is rendering the whole video in, like, in, like a, in a nice amount of time, is that important to you? I mean, if, but if, if you were doing this on like a regular basis, would that be annoying or would that be something you want to Maybe see? It's, it's a benefit. Oh my God. Do you, do you care? Not really. Okay, so it literally took this, 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 I can't speak. This render time literally took about, let me see here. So it barely struck 733 when we started this struck. The clock struck. It struck. What is this? Okay, the so. Before Christmas? Shut the so it was like just 7.33 when we started this, like 10 seconds before. It's now 7.34. So that took about what, like a minute and 20 seconds. So if we do the math again here, you said it was 25 minutes. 25 divided by, what is this? Yeah, 25 divided by four, 6.25, 1.33. It take, it take eight minutes instead of like 25, I believe. So Randy. is that important to you if you were to release a tutorial that was like four hours long? Yes. Would you want that in your laptop, in your own yes, usage case? But yes. since, but do you really care since you're not editing all the time and since yeah, you're not as consistent really on YouTube like I am? Nice. It's nice, but would you pay money for this? Well, I'm paying money because I want storage. So. Well, right, but but would you pay just for the processor as a... Probably not because I'm not really that impatient. And you would say you don't need the better processor because you're not like on the clock. You don't have any like major deadlines all the time like some people you know, right? right. So you wouldn't pay like another $100 for that even though it does render faster. You'd be correct. Okay, but again, you know, and I'll say this, if you are somebody who does have to, you know, get work done at a particular time and rendering speeds are important to you, then you might want to consider the better processor. But in her case, as you just heard from her, um, it doesn't really matter because she's not, she's not editing all the time. She's not as frequent with her YouTube videos like her brother is. So anyway. Her brother? What are we talking about? Like, oh, you know. Person? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I promise <laughs> I'm not a I'm and just really okay, tired. shut up. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. If you're somebody who is doing some, you know, more casual video editing, like my sister is here, um, uh, <laughs> go ahead and check out her channel. Um, she does um, like these clay figurines and stuff, and and they're pretty good, I have to admit. But um, yeah, uh, I really appreciate it. You have to admit. I really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions. Yeah, we get it. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful, especially if you are somebody like my sister who doesn't have a super advanced like 4K color grading video editing workflow. And apparently, according to her, you can't really notice a difference in the i3 and the i5 model. <laughs> she's she's just mocking me. It's okay. Um, people <laughs> apparently.
<laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, once again, she couldn't notice a huge difference in her editing process as she was like clipping, you know, like clips. <laughs> So Shut later. up. Apparently she couldn't notice any difference when she was like clipping her clips. <laughs> it's not the right thing to say. <laughs> clipping clips. She's clipping her clips. Apparently she couldn't notice the difference as she was clipping her footage and like retiming it and whatever, adding music, whatever, whatever she does. It's more basic editing. And um, of course though, when it comes to rendering, even at 1080p, as you saw, the i5 quad core processor really does increase or decrease the amount of rendering time you need. And if you have longer projects, then it might be worth the extra $100 or getting the higher capacity model um, if you are editing all the time. But in her case, as she said, she's not editing all the time. So it isn't the biggest deal, but still, we ended up getting the higher capacity model for her, the 512 gig one, because she does need additional storage for, you know, footage and whatnot. And uh, it just made sense to go that route. But yeah, once again, I hope this video helped you out. Subscribe for more content like this if you haven't already. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.